guys, welcome back to another week's episode. Uh, this week we're doing a German soup. Uh, pretty much everybody's favorite. It's good with uh, pretzels, uh, soft pretzels. It's good with croutons. It's even good by itself. So um, it's a uh, beer cheese soup. And uh, right now I've got the my trusty French oven warming up. Um, I got all the vegetables prepped, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. We'll be right back. So as this is warming up, we'll set that to the side. Take a half cup of butter, throw it in, let it melt down. And uh, what I have is a um, half a sweet onion, chopped up fine. I'm going to throw that in there. And I have uh, four stalks of celery and two carrots uh, chopped up fine. What I'll do is add a little bit of salt. When I say a little bit, uh, about two or three dashes. One. Well, actually, about a pinch. That should be good right there. And a little bit of pepper. You want to sweat the vegetables down until the onions are about translucent. Go ahead and grab your wooden spoon, stir it up, make sure they all get coated with uh, the butter. Again, as usual, this is called the Holy Trinity, onions, celery, and carrots. A lot of uh, European soups start off with these three ingredients. Even uh, Italian red sauce. Usually has these three ingredients in them. So we'll give these about five to seven minutes. Go ahead and put it to the center here. Let them sweat down a little bit. And we'll be right back. All right, now these are uh, sweated down pretty well. You can see that the celery is a lot darker. The uh, onion is about translucent. You want to go ahead and put in about two and a half to three tablespoons of uh, all purpose flour. I'm only going to do probably about two and a half. Go ahead and stir that in. You kind of want to decoat everything. You kind of form a little bit of a uh, roux there. And at this point, um, it's your choice whether you want to put mustard seed, mustard powder. I usually skip it and just put the uh, Dijon mustard in there. If you put a uh, mustard powder in there, about a teaspoon. If you put mustard seed, I'd grind it up a little bit and put about a uh, two teaspoons in there. Uh, when it comes to Dijon mustard, if I can get it open, put about a tablespoon in there. Go ahead and stir that up, get it nice and coated onto the vegetables. And let that sit for a couple moments and we'll put in the uh, chicken stock. 
So we'll be right back. Alright, so I accidentally said chicken stock. I meant chicken broth. Um, you want the actual liquid, not solids in there. Go ahead and pour the whole four cups in there. You don't need to add water to it. You don't want to water it down too much. Getting a little crazy there. Go ahead and keep stirring till it thickens up a little bit. Right now, you're skimming a lot of the stuff off the bottom of it. Scrape down all the stuff on the sides. Make sure you knock everything off your spoon. Let that come up to a boil and we will be right back. All right, the soup is definitely not up to a boil yet, but it is up to heat uh, with the steam here coming off. And, um, the reason why I didn't add too much salt in the beginning is because the cheddar that you're going to put in there has enough salt in it to uh, give it give it its saltiness and flavor. Also, the chicken broth has enough salt in it, so it's thickening up just a little bit. So you want to go ahead and take your beer. I use, you can use a Pilsner. I usually use a Bach. Uh, Shiner Bach is my favorite to put in there. You can put an Amber Bach or some sort in there. Pour it in slow because it will froth up real quick. Empty the whole bottle into the soup. Let that come up to a boil. When it's done, all the uh, frothiness or the head will be gone. That means the alcohol is pretty well cooked out, but the flavor is still in there. Uh, this might take five to ten minutes. So uh, we'll go ahead and let that uh, cook for a little bit. And then we'll be right back. As you can see, the head is gone off the soup here. Um, it's definitely starting to get warm enough, but you want to get to a rolling boil and drop the temperature on it and let it sit for about 20 minutes or so. When I say drop the temperature, uh, bring it down maybe one notch or so because you do want to keep it hot because when we add the cheese we're going to add the cheese a little bit at a time and uh, continuously stir as we add it because if not it'll start clumping up if it doesn't melt fast enough and if you get it too hot it'll start to curdle and you get little cheese curds floating around this so you, it's kind of like a Goldilocks type thing. You want it at the right temperature to put the cheese in. You want to put the cheese in at the right speed. So uh, let me get this to a boil for a few moments and then uh, we'll bring it down and go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. So we'll be right back. All right, if you hear the noise in the background, that is just my uh, homemade croutons going in the air fryer. Literally what I do is I'll take about five or six slices of bread and cut them up into nine pieces each. Toss them in olive oil and I do a smoked paprika onion mix. 
Um, you've seen the seasoning on my uh, channel before. Right now, the soup is about where you want it. So, what I do is about a pound of cheese. I have a little bit extra. I'll just cut the top on this instead of worrying about the Ziploc. I'll go ahead and pour this amount in. That's about a quarter of a bag. Just go ahead and stir that for a moment until it fully melts in. And that's kind of how you want to add this, this quarter of a bag at a time and stir it in. Make sure it all melts in and doesn't coagulate and form this big lump at the bottom. Once you get, all, get it all melted in, you'll add your cream and then you'll turn the stove off and let it sit for a little bit. So let me get the che cheese added and we'll be right back. So at this point, you can see how thick the soup is. After about a pound of cheese plus a little bit extra here and there that I had left over. Um, I have not added the cream yet. You can stop here if you want. I usually like to go a little bit richer with the flavor. You can do uh, heavy whipping cream. You can just do normal whipping cream. You can do a half and a half. I do half and a half just to uh, kind of keep the fat content down. Now, there's a lot of fat in here. Go ahead and add the whole pint let this all blend in and literally the soup is pretty well done let it come back up to heat a little bit because you cooled it down by adding the uh, cream you so say you want to come up to heat a little bit Make sure you stir it every once in a while. And uh, go ahead and turn the heat off. And just let a residual cook for another 15-20 minutes. So after that we'll be right back. So the soup is pretty well finished up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and serve it up and take pictures. Um, like I said, I made some uh, homemade croutons. Uh, kind of a smoked paprika and garlic with an olive um, oil. I put them in for five minutes at 400. Shook them up and put them in for another three minutes at 400. So uh, those are good to go on... Uh, most any soup you can use any herb you want to you can actually use a uh, ranch powder and uh, shake them up on it so as usual if you try my recipes let me know how they turn out and as always have a great weekend and a great week and until next time bon appetit